Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and our virtual fam jam this morning. Today, we are going to have some fun with some sports themed fun and activities. Uh, so we're going to be bringing some singing, some dancing, all related to your favorite sports. And of course, in this time where March Madness has come to a close and we have basketball coming to an end, but softball and baseball just getting started, we are going to be uh, having some fun and hopefully knocking this fam jam out of the park. So with that in mind, uh, we just want to thank our John P. Murphy Foundation for sponsoring us. We love bringing these fam jams to everyone, and uh, we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So, from here, I think I'm just going to hand it right over to our friends at the Beck Center, Mr. Ed and Miss Tracy. How you doing today? Good morning, Mike. How are you at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame today? I'm doing great. Having a rocking day already. Good. It is good to see you. I got to tell you, Mike, before, before we start singing... You know, some of my favorite bands like uh, Rush, the great Canadian rockers, you know, when they went on tour, they had washers and dryers on the stage, which was very entertaining. Like they could do their laundry and like multitask. Yeah. Pink Floyd, when I saw them down at the shoe in Columbus, they had pigs flying and airplanes. And I know at the Rock Hall, uh, fish props were there with the flying hot dog and all that. So behind us, we figured we could be like the cool rockers. So we have um, Snow White's Castle on stage with us today at the Beck Center. So awesome. You know, we thought we would, you know, up our game a bit to be a little bit more like uh, those Rock Hall inductees. I like it. I like it. So I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let Tracy take it from all here right. to welcome us all in. Here we go, everybody. Let's fam jam together. All right. And I'm also very excited because I've always wanted to be Snow White, right? So, all right. All right, friends. We are going to get started with our hello. We are going to count to three. And if you're at home watching, count to three. And then you're going to take one fist right here. And you're going to put it up in the air and say, hey. And then we're going to put two arms up in the air and say, rock and roll. Because, of course, this is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame virtual fam jam. All right. All right. So here we go. One, two, three. Hey. Very nice. 
All right, all right, friends. Well, it is sports day, so I'm gonna ask Mr. Ed to come back on here and check out that jersey. I, I love am it. Ready, very you good. So are. I want to show some props. What, do you want yeah, yeah, sure. Right. So uh, Mike mentioned uh, the Final Four, and uh, there are so many great sports things happening. But today, I got one of my favorite Rock Hall pieces of memorabilia out. My rock. Oops, the sleeve. My Rock and Roll Hall of Fame baseball jersey. But for our friends living in Wisconsin, when you're cheering on your Packers, you always have to wear your cheese heads. Those are always fun. So I'm going to put that right there with Miss Tracy. And of course, all of our uh, sports teams love wearing their special hats. So this weekend is the Masters down in Georgia for all of our friends down there in Georgia. Tracy's doing a great job catching. All of us Buckeyes love Brutus Buckeye. I know SEC fans love their football right here in the Midwest. We're all about the Buckeyes. Our Cavaliers won the championship a few years ago. Proud of them. I always like to bring my Irish heritage out with my Ireland World Cup baseball hat for football, as they would say, across the pond. Our Cleveland Guardians, the hat I started with, and the saw hat I'm going to wear for when we sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game is a hat from way back when the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame opened, and it says Rock Your World. So I'm going to get on my hat. I even have, I borrowed from Mrs. Ed, the Louisville Slugger from Mother's Day game about 10, 12, 13 years ago at uh, the stadium here in Cleveland. So, Miss Tracy, I'm going to hand you the Mom's Day bat. I'm going to grab my guitar and a guitar pick. And we are going to do a little take me out to the ball game. But when you're at the game, you always got to have snacks. So, everyone get a big hot dog, a little ketchup, some mustard. Eat it up in one bite since it's pretend. All the kids get their lemonade to drink. We can make a little slurping sound. And everybody say, go baseball! go baseball! I'll let you insert your favorite team wherever you're living when you're watching Fam Jam here. Let's do it a couple times. Something tells me we might hear Tracy singing behind the microphone too. Here we go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. So let's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, Three strike, you're out at the old ball game. All right, it's still kind of like spring training. Let's try it one more time. Get your hot dog, lemonade. I'm going to say go Guardians. You can say your favorite team right there. Ready? Go, go Guardians! Guardians! Something tells me we heard some Cubs in there, too. Here we go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowds. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. So let's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Give yourselves a bigger round of applause. Very nice job. Hey, Mike, I hope you were singing there before I turn it back over to you. I can only imagine you were filling up the garage with your bellowing voice, weren't you? Of course, of course. You had me at one, two, three strikes, you're out. You're out. There we go. All right, I guess we're out of here for a little bit. Everybody enjoy the rest of the fan jam. We'll see you in a bit. Sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Ed and Miss Tracy. Great job, and we are excited, excited. It's funny that they should mention Rush before as well, because a fun fact about Rush, they are big 
big baseball fans. And uh, actually, one of their lyrics in one of their songs was, one likes to believe in the freedom of music, but once in a while on tour, especially if they're heading to check out their favorite baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays, they will go and uh, change that lyric to, one likes to believe in the freedom of baseball. So it's good to hear that there's a lot of rock stars out there that love their sports as well. And we love them here too. And you know who else loves some sports? The Children's Museum. So I think we're going to turn it over to them. And I think they're going to get us moving here with Kelsey and Susanna. Kelsey and Susanna, what do you have for us today?
Susanna, Miss Kelsey, we thank you for joining us. And remember, you have permission to dance and to be yourself. Bye-bye. Well, I don't know about you. I was having a great time with that dance. Thanks again, Children's Museum, for giving us that fun little dance there. I hope you all had fun with that. Now's the time for us to have some fun here in the garage. And I brought my friends Josh and Mark along with me. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we're going to bring to you a little sing-along if you know the words. And if you don't know all the words, I think you'll at least be able to help us with the chorus. It goes a little something like this. We will, we will rock you. And as you know, the accompaniment for this one is usually the stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. But today, we're going to try something a little different. I've brought along a basketball and a baseball glove and a baseball. We're going to try and substitute those uh, with a stomp and a clap. Now, boys and girls, don't forget, don't play ball in the house. We have made sure that we are playing safe here uh, in just our little space. So we're going to make sure that you have some fun trying this. And if you can get outside, you can always try these cool sounds. Because we think a basketball sounds great as our stomps. Give us a try here. Oh, that's perfect. And then we need the clap. So we're going to get the ball hitting the glove. Just like the clap. Let's put it together. Let's try it. That's good. Keep that going. Join in if you know the words. Buddy or a boy, make a big noise. Playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. Your big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Body of a young man, hard man, shouting in the street. Gonna take on the world someday. You got mud on your face. You big disgrace. Waving your banner all over the place. We Nice job, guys. That was fun. Nice stomping. Thank yeah. Absolutely. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> we hope you were stomping and clapping and singing along at home with us. That is so much fun. And once again, you can find rhythm in all different kinds of sports. In volleyball, in lacrosse, in rugby, and maybe even in curling. You never know. If you take a listen, you might just hear something that you don't expect. So lots of cool things going on with sports today, including something with our friends at Keep Music Alive. So we're going to send it over to you, Joanne and Vincent. What do you have for us today? Joanne and Vincent here for this month's virtual Dam Jam. We're so excited about this month's theme, which is sports and music. And we thought we'd start off with a little ditty that came out in the mid-70s. Some of the moms and dads out there might remember this TV commercial. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. 
Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and chocolate. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and chocolate. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and chocolate. And Ford, and Chrysler, and Tesla. Artist producer extraordinaire Todd Rundgren was inducted into the Rock Hall just last year. Todd's known for producing iconic albums by Meatloaf and Grand Funk Railroad, among others. And Todd also had a number of hits in the early 70s, include Hello, It's Me, I Saw the Light, and Love is the Answer. But the song that most people know and that has played at sporting events all around the world is, yep, we're talking about Bang on the Drum All Day. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day. Jumping back to the baseball theme, John Fogarty was inducted into the Rock Hall in 1993 along with his CCR band members, also known as Credence Clearwater Revival, with hits like Have You Ever Seen the Rain, Bad Moon Rising, and Down on the Corner. Then, in 1985, John had a big hit with a song called Centerfield. Put me in coach, I'm ready to play today. Put me in coach, I'm ready to play today. Look at me, I can be center field. Yeah, awesome. Moldy instrumentalist Neil Nair is an amazing young man who is proficient at over 108 different instruments. And I think he might be all of 16 years old now. Neil's here with us today to introduce a cool instrument called the aerophone with a theme you'll recognize from the Olympics. What is an aerophone? Aerophone is a digital wind instrument that lets you play flute, clarinet, sax, violin, synth sounds, and many more. In other words, you can play all the instruments in just one digital wind instrument. Another fun song played at sporting games everywhere is the last number one billboard hit from the 1960s. Wow. From a group called Steam, Steam. and a song called Na Na Hey Hey. Na 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 Hey Hey Hey. Goodbye. Na 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 Na. Hey, 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 goodbye, everybody. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Yeah. Finally, let's revisit the first musical bit from our segment, but this time we'll change it up a bit. If you're thinking about writing songs one day, you can often start by taking an existing melody and writing new lyrics. Of course, Al Yankovic made a career out of funny parodies like this, <laughs> including songs like Eat It. But we're just going to tie in our music and sports theme. Baseball, football, hockey, soccer, basketball. Baseball, football, hockey, soccer, basketball. Baseball, football, hockey, soccer, basketball. Hockey, soccer, basketball, and archery, and swimming. 
Well, that's all for us. Have a great day and stay tuned for more Virtual Fam Jam. Wow. Well, thank you for that, Joanne and Vincent. That was a lot of fun. And you caught me singing a couple of those. I can't deny. Plus, of course, I love that parody song. And I'm a big Weird Al fan myself. So that's great. That's great to hear. Well, we've had a lot of fun with all of our groups. But we're heading over now to the Cleveland Public Library for some more fun with Mr. Joel. Mr. Joel, how are you doing over there today? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Do you like sports? What's your favorite sport that you like? Oh, play? I'm a baseball guy. I can't oh, wait to yeah. wait for the Cleveland Guardians. My, neither can I. I'm so excited for that first game. Yeah, so what do you too. have for us today? Today we're going to read a book, and it's one of my favorites. So I here work at the Cleveland Public Library South Branch. And at the library, we have lots of books, and we love to read books because books are fun. And today we're going to read a fun book called We Will Rock Our Classmates. Ooh, I like the sound of that. This book is written by the author and illustrator Rata Ryan T. Higgins. That means Ryan T. Higgins wrote the words as the author, but he also drew or painted the pictures because he is also the illustrator. Let's dive into this fun book. Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great. Be the dentist and you will be the dentist and you can be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing with Willem Amato's backpack? It's stuck in your teeth. Mm -mm -mm. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. I love to read too. Good night, Tasty Mouse, all wrapped in bologna. Good night, Tasty Goose, with a side dish of pony. Hmm. Ponies, Penelope thought. And she loved to draw. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. <laughs> but the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved rock and roll. So, when Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. Penelope took a deep breath. <gasps> she had to do it. She tipped past Walter, then she quick, quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. Name, Penelope. Talent, rock and roll. After school... Penelope shared the big news with her parents. I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be happy. And oh, it's going to be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, The Weevils. She danced all the way to the bus. Best band ever. My dad used to go to all of their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. <laughs> ha 
at last. It was time for rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want more? Penny Pie, you've only had 52 hamburgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She could not play hopscotch. I'm a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I am not a duck or another duck or a goose. I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. <laughs> when Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay? He asked. I can't be in the talent show, Penelope cried. I'm just a dinosaur. Ah, I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom. Finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate. 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. For instance, you are kind and caring, creative and adventurous, and you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you? In your band? Please, Penelope? And that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from backstage to try and find her parents. When the curtains opened, Willem Amato and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Chip, roar, how, honk, tweet, tweet. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Then there was the Stegman Brothers Synchronized Swimming Mimes Act, followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your card was the Ten of Hearts, no? Was it the Elephant of Spades? Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights turned on. The, st the lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds! Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope Rex was a rock star! Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm, yummy ponies. <laughs> Isn't that a fun book? Well, thank you for joining us today. Let's give you back to the Rock Hall.
Thanks, Joel. That was a great book. And I think it really teaches a cool lesson, don't you think? Oh, I think it's great that you have to have courage and sometimes a little help from your friends. Oh, yes, absolutely. And, and you know, rock and roll is a spirit. So even if you're the only T-Rex in the room, you can still play rock and roll just like anyone else. That's fantastic. Thanks to Cleveland Public Library once again. That was a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to head back over one more time to our friends at the Beck Center, Mr. Ed and Miss Tracy. What do you have for us? Hey, Mike, welcome back. We are, we are glad to be here. We've got some more songs. We're going to be the T-Rex, okay? Awesome. <laughs> all right. What do you all got, right. Tracy? All right. All right, friends. Well, you know, you know, the last oh. couple of uh, a couple of times that we've been up here on Virtual Fam Jam, we've done a very special ABCs. And if you know the show super why, you'll recognize these ABCs. It's a little bit different than the traditional. So we're gonna do those ABCs a couple times through, and then I'll yeah, I'll bring Mr. Ed back on because we are gonna do a special, even more special version of it. But here's how it sounds. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z Sing with me. Yeah, let's do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> so that you get it in your head. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z Sing with me. All right. All right, friends. Well, you know. Now I'm ready? Yes, now okay, we're ready. We now we're ready. Thanks for coming, Mr. Eddie. You betcha. All right, we're going to do Psych. it again. And this time we're going to be putting in some really cool sports or sports type things. Right? I guess that's the only way I can describe it as things. All right, so we're going to slow it down just a little bit so that you can see. Here we go. A, B, C. B is for baseball. D, E, F. F is for football. G, H, I. I is for ice hockey. J is for a great jump star, jump shot. Make your jump shot, jump up high, get that basketball in there. K, L, M. K is for karate. N, N, O. O is for the Olympics. P, Q, R. R is for rowing. And S has three. Let's start with soccer. All right, we're going to say S, S, S. Here we go. S, S, S. It's also for swimming. S, S, S. One more. We have skiing. T, U, V. V is for victory. W, X, Y, N, Z. Everybody jump with me. Woohoo! All right. Because it feels really good to play the game and know you played well, right, Mr. N? Absolutely. How yes. fun was that? That was. Thank Very you. Good. Very good. All right. What else do we have, Mr. We're going to ask our friends to uh, get their hands warmed back up again. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Tracy, fabulous song. Huh? Very nice. Very much. Thank you. Thank Always you. Always good to have your mouth. So since it's springtime, and of course we know spring brings baseball and getting outside, and when it gets a little damper outside, the spiders can often start. I know it's not your favorite I mean, thing. but oh, I love this spider, though. But we have a story to tell all of our friends here at the Fam Jam. Um, story we've been telling here at the Beck Center for a long time about the really cool, fun spider neighborhood. So we're going to get our fingers all together here. And we're going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider, which you all know. And then we have a great story to tell you. So the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. And I bet you heard and even saw Miss Tracy and I change the words a little bit differently for each of us. Mm -hmm. And we even do a different hand motions once in a while. Make the song your own. Yep, different so, is good. Absolutely. So in the spider neighborhood, the spider next door to the itsy bitsy spider is the great big spider. Oh, very nice. Right. So everyone get All your right. big hands ready. The great big spider climbed up the water spout. Lots of rain. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Big sun. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great 
big spider climbed up the spout again. And if you go down the street, I think you run into Miss Tracy's. Yeah, this is my favorite. You know why? Because this one's teensy weensy. You have a teensy weensy spider and you make a teensy weensy voice for teensy, it. Teensy weensy voice. I love my teensy weensy voice. Here we go. The teensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Little rain, down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teensy weensy spider went up the spout again. Very nice. Thank you. So if you go across the street from the teensy weensy spider, it was the jumping spider family. So get your fingers ready. And here we go. They were very active, you know. The jumping spiders jumped up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the jumping spiders jumped up the spout again. Any more? What, what about uh, working your way back down the street? Um, I think, wasn't there a fast one somewhere down there? There was. Uh, I, I can never catch up with I know. I, 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 you know, sometimes the fast ones really scare me, but he's a really nice one. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but he does, he does. He runs away from you, though. So he goes super, super fast. Ready? I'll try my best to keep up. Okay, here we, here we go. go. The very best spider went up the water spout, down came the rain, and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the very fast spider went up the spout again. Whew. Didn't, wasn't that little kid even faster than that? He was. All right. Can we, hear, can we hear about the little kid? Oh. The really little one? Yeah, why don't you tell? Okay, here we go. The very fast spider went up the water spout, down came the rain, and we'll spread it out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the very fast spider went up the spout again. I don't know if I knew about him. Yeah, he's one of the, he's like three or four years old. Oh. oh. Kid's quick. Oh. All right, then the very last spider that moms and dads love is the very quiet spider. Because he's always there, got a smile on his face, but quiet. So here's how it's gonna go. The very quiet And instead of clapping with our hands like this, we're going to do it in sign language. So get those hands up and give yourselves a big round of applause with the very quiet spider. Very nice. All right, we got to practice our bows. Everyone put one hand up. Take a big bow for doing a great job with the spider. Nice job. That was fabulous. That was. Very nice. All right, would you mind handing me the guitar? Oh, not at all. We have one more song and a style of music that we'd like to talk about. And that is, you know what, I'm gonna use my fingers oh, instead. Right. Oh, so all right. the 12 bar blues, it's a chord progression that defines the number of bars or measures in a typical blues song or in the blues structure. So we're gonna play a song in the 12 bar blues progression about sports. We're gonna play it in D though, Mr. Ed. Yes, we are. There we go. See, cause I'm gonna be singing it. So we need to make sure that it's in the key that I can sing it in, right? All right. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Are we ready to go? I'm ready. All right, goes like this. Oh, I like getting outside to play some sports. Ooh, hanging with my friends and playing some sports. Oh, we'll run and play, make it a great day when we're playing sports. Sing it, Miss Tracy. On the baseball field, we'll throw, catch, and hit. Oh, and playing some football, we'll run past, even tackle a bit. And on the court, we're going to shoot those hoops playing basketball. Oh, I like getting outside to play my sports. Oh, yeah, hanging with my friends, playing some sports. Oh, well, we'll run and play, and we'll make it a great day when we're playing sports. Let's do a few more. Well, we could go swimming or diving in the pool. Or skiing down a hill, that would be really cool. Or soccer, or hockey, or 
gymnastics too. Let's all get going. Me and you are like an outside. Yes, we do. Play some sports. Fresh air, huh? That's right. Oh, hanging with my friends. We all like to play our sports. Oh, and we run and play and we make a great day when we're playing sports. Let's do run and play again. We'll run and play and we'll make it a great day when we're playing sports. Yeah. That was really good. I really like that blues. Nice job, nice job. The 12 bar blues are a One fabulous chord progression. And you know, you can hear it in a lot of songs. You can hear it, of course, in our playing sports song, which we just debuted for you. But some of you are going to be much more familiar with some songs like Johnny Be Good, mm -hmm, Tutti Fruity, Elvis's Hound Dog, one of the most amazing blues guitarists ever, Stevie Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy is a fabulous hit in that uh, progression. Yeah. And of course, Sweet Home Chicago. Oh, and you know, one of my Robert favorites, Jones, one of my Jones favorites Chicago. is also in the blues, one of my favorite dances ever. The twist. Ah, you can't go wrong with the twist. I know, right? You cannot Fabulous. go wrong with the twist. Very good. Mike, were you uh, belting it out there? I know I know, it's a new song for you, but we hope that I you was, were. I was trying my best. It's it's hard sometimes to keep up with all those great lyrics you're writing. Hey, we're going to get But that mechanics. was a great song. We're coming down to the Rock Hall sometime. We're teaching this song to the mechanics. So the next time yeah. a bunch of fam jammers come in, they'll say, oh, my gosh, the sports song. Let's play that. That sounds awesome. We would love to take a listen to that. That would be fun. Well, thanks a lot once again to everybody who was here. And we hope that you have had a wonderful, wonderful day with us so far at our virtual fam jam. Once again, I'd like to thank our friends here at the Rock Hall who, for making this possible as well as our friends at the Beck Center, the Children's Museum, the Cleveland Public Library, and our friends at Keep Music Alive. I think we had a great time. I hope you all got to sing, dance, a little bit of both, and hopefully today you get a chance to get out and play, whether it's basketball, soccer, anything you'd like. I will say it's a little rainy here in Cleveland, so if you can't quite make it out, hopefully this weekend you'll get a chance to play some sports or even to watch some cool sports. Sports. So I think we're going to bring everyone back before we say good goodbye to everyone here. Um, but before we do, I just want to let everyone know, thanks for John P. Murphy Foundation for sponsoring us and making this all possible so we can all have fun. What do you say, everybody? I think it was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. All right. Had a right, great we, time. Yeah, we did too. Thanks for having us again. We're going to sing goodbye. Before we do, we want to thank Miss Jordan, too, for everything she's doing behind the scenes here. And we're going to do some na-na-nas to say goodbye today. All right, you ready? Since it's sports. Na-na-na-na. Na-na-na-na. Hey, 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 hey. Goodbye. goodbye. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.